Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching the Bourne Ultimatum. So finishing off the original Bourne trilogy. What'd you think of the last movie? I loved it, minus Marie. <laughs> well, cause Marie got minus. <laughs> That was so upsetting. <laughs> but other than that, I loved it. I love the first film too. Um, they do a great job of like keeping it fresh, but still making it kind of like a cohesive story. Um, I mentioned in the last one, I didn't love the shaky camera. Right. And I think we might see, I'm assuming we're probably gonna see a little bit more of that in this one. Yeah, you're still gonna have shaky camera stuff. Right. But other than that, like I loved it. Matt Damon's fantastic. So I'm really enjoying these. I think this is my favorite out of the three. Oh, okay. Um, so I've said in the previous two, I have seen these three movies. So there's one scene in particular that I love that's like one of my favorite sequences out of like any movie. So um, I'm just excited to watch that again and for you to watch that. <laughs> I think what we've seen so far with the first two is that the movies end kind of in a spot where you think it could be done. Mm -hmm. And then it comes back again with a fresh story that like you said, it's still cohesive and fits in with everything. Mm -hmm. So I think this will be the same. So I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm really excited to finish out the original trilogy. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on our Twitch, Instagram, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the movie. Send a man. Getting a few more memories. It's leaving blood everywhere. You need a treat to baby, but what a start. She wouldn't want me to. That's the only reason you're alive. Such a great moment when he got that tape. Not a threat to this agency. I think if you wanted to hurt us, you could have sent the tape to CNN. Good point. As far as I'm concerned, Bourne is still a serious threat until proven otherwise. Someone in his corner, but not enough. This one's three years ago. Marie Kreutz. She was found dead in a river halfway around the world. Oh, they found her. Turn off the tape record. Got something to say? There's so many moving parts right now. Yeah, and these are like almost all new characters. Just always surprises people by just already being in their house. Where's my sister? Why don't you sit down? Was this Marie's brother? I guess so. I don't even remember that. Why is she? She's dead. I'm sorry. Said to apologize to a lot of people lately. And now what? Someone started off. And I'm gonna find them. There's some sort of conclusion to the fact that he got the person who killed her. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's enough for him. I think he wants who sent that person. Oh, yeah, for, for Bourne? Yeah, but for her brother. I have a hit on Echelon, Blackbriar. I repeat, Blackbriar, European signal. That's crazy, just looking out for that word to be spoken. Registered to a London reporter named Simon Ross, works at the Guardian newspaper. I assumed he was a journalist since he had the tape, but. Ross is easy. You want the source. Oh, the Guardian. Okay. Our target is a British national, Simon Ross. Bank accounts, credit cards, travel patterns. I want to know what he's going to think before he does. So crazy. We want the name and real-time location of his source. But is he even going to meet up with this guy again? You know? Right. It's just insane how you could just be instantly tracked if they wanted to. <laughs> Special Report, Part 3. Drowned. Will you commit to this program? I can't. Oh, jeez. Under the water, under a cage. I didn't need to see that again. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, right? He's on my line. Thanks. Simon Ross. Oh, but it's not his line. Yeah, they, they tapped a different line. Waterloo Station, south entrance, 30 minutes. But they're following him. Okay, he is on the move. Give me eyeballs on the street. Let's go. But Jason can pull like a, the tram thing in that crowd. Yeah, just get him lost. Yeah. I feel like this whole movie has the same level of like 
tense <laughs> stress. The music. With the music, yeah. Hi, Waterloo Station, South Entrance. Destination is Waterloo Station. Okay, Waterloo Station. Let's sure activate the asset. Ready. Just so many eyes. Is he with them? He looks like a bad guy. Yeah, that's the asset that they just activated. Oh, okay, okay. They don't have a cell yet. No, he just bought it. Yeah, he knows. So smooth. I didn't realize that phone was for him. <laughs> It's like, what the heck? It's a silver Chrysler Voyager. There's a surveillance team inside. There's a man in the second story, static post. He's watching. <laughs> I want you to walk towards it. Jimmy, I need that phone. I need it yesterday. Sir, we... Not you his know... cell phone. That's not his phone, sir. What do you mean it's not his phone? Patents. Where the hell did he get another phone? <laughs> you guys clearly weren't watching well enough if you just missed him drop that. Right? All right, turn around. Okay, who's the guy in the blue hood? <laughs> There's an overpass. Go up the stairs, stop at the newsstand. You'll get further instructions. And... Okay. Watch that bus. No. Watch that right. bus. What's going on? Somebody yeah. tell me we lost Craft the team. Beat. Can't see him. Bus in the way. Oh. Guys are too slow. Target's on the move. Oh. So has some eyes. Do not lose Ross. Oh, poor guy. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, fuck. What the hell was that? Sir, we've lost all communication. There goes that guy. All right, heading west. Let us know when you get a visual. Oh, no. <laughs> On the walkway heading okay. towards the concourse, okay. sir. Because okay. they're probably going to snatch him thinking that they already got the other guy. Yeah, that guy's going to wake up in some prison somewhere yeah. and be like, what the heck? Yeah, I would wait under there. Right. What's his name? What's your source's name? You know I can't tell you that. Black, what's Blackbriar? He said he knows who you are. Uh, Ugh, ran out of time. You're about to be dead, sir. Where the hell is he, people? They haven't seen Bourne yet, right? No. Is everybody look suspicious? Yeah, right. I want you to move along the far wall to your left. That's it. <laughs> Just so coordinated. Missing the cameras now. He's gonna stay go. on the line. You're He's gonna go. Do not deviate. Damn. And he's running. He's still talking with somebody. He's getting instructions. Jimmy, get me the conversation. Oh, we'll we'll the Hurry, Ross. We gotta move. Goodbye, Ross. <laughs> There's someone on your tail. Get in the store. Faster, oh. faster, faster, Ross. <laughs> Tell me when the asset's in the nest. Tell me what's going on. Is there a way out? You're just gonna have to wait. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> You're done. Give me your source. Uh oh. Jesus Christ. That's Jason Bourne. <laughs> Picking us apart. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Block all the exits. Give the asset a green light. Didn't he just uh, stab the asset? No, that was just that a was different someone guy. else? Yeah. Oh, this there he is. is. I was going to say, it was really easy for him to stab that guy with the syringe, and I thought he was the asset. <laughs> all the agents back. Give Bourne's location at the back of the store to the asset. Both. Kill the cameras. Oh, it's every time the billboard flips. Yeah. Both. Wait, something's not right. They are not watching you anymore. Oh, get away from the door. I think someone's coming. I'm going for it. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, just take all the shit. Yeah, you're not getting born that easy. Oh, does he know where he is? I mean, he kind of noticed the billboard. So many people. Shit. Got to see what he looked like. Uh, we have a situation. They were so quick to just want to kill Ross, thinking that Bourne was the... Source. Yeah. You wouldn't want to be sure? 
Otherwise, there's someone else just out there. Yeah. It's just any hint that information's getting out there, they just got to kill it as quickly as possible. Just like, who's to say that guy's just not going to go to someone else at the Guardian? At least he got all his notes. So that's where they met, right? Something in Madrid. Journalist based here in London with the Guardian newspaper. So this was the source. Hundreds of commuters over the yeah, if they can kill someone in full view of hundreds of people. Oh, Jason might be a little late then. This guy's on the move. Yeah, the second he found out that Ross was killed, he's gone. I look at this as a favor for you, Pam. Giving you an opportunity to complete some unfinished business. We both want the same thing. But we both go about it in two very different ways. Yeah, seriously. The real question is how you managed to get into a firefight at a public train station. <laughs> Don't second guess an operation from an armchair. I'll see you at the office. <laughs> this is off to a great start. <laughs> Yeah, most of these people's decisions when they see Bourne are like, oh my God, kill him. She was like the first one to be like, let's see what's going on here. You are nine hours behind the toughest target you have ever tracked. <laughs> He's already in Madrid. I want everyone to sit down, strap in, and turn on all you've got. That would mean now. <laughs> Just staring at her. Met Ross in Turin for breakfast, and then at noon the same day, Bourne calls Ross to demand a meet at Waterloo. <laughs> Cross-check a secure cell phone. Dummy. Right? You really think while doing that he's going to use a cell phone that he knows we can track? Zero results on the cross check. Zero results. I mean, if your people are on their phones as much as mine, the list should be pretty small. Wow. Cut that list down. Pull that up. Bring that up on main. Per ND. He's station chief in Madrid, isn't he? Yeah. Wow, that took her all of about two minutes. Right? <laughs> Daniels isn't really. I'm worried about porn. If he is not the source, then he is after the source. Not the same as you, because I don't think he's trying to kill him. He's trying to get answers. Yeah, but they don't want those answers out. But it was incredibly impressive how she just comes in and is immediately like, bam, Madrid. He's already gone. And Bourne's already there. Uh oh, his alarm. Three minutes to destination, sir. Well, if his alarm was set, you know he's not home. Your mission will save American lives. <laughs> That was a lot. It's starting to piece it together a little bit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Well, that surveillance is good. Is that the asset, though? Uh, no. No, it's just people. Five seconds. We're up live. We're in. Should have set the alarm again. <laughs> That's gotta be boring. Like that he has a gun camera. Pretty impressive. <laughs> Ooh. Hiding. Oh, jeez! Shoot first, I guess. <laughs> God damn it! Get a backup team in there. <laughs> oh, she's back. Get out of there, guys. Uh, Nikki, I need to do an ID challenge. Response Everest. Good job, Nikki. <laughs> We have two officers on site. Are you in contact with them? They are not in contact with anyone. <laughs> Some people are convinced he's still a threat. I disagree. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Only realistic way to end this is to eliminate the threat. How long till backup? I mean, you guys were going to kill Daniels too, if you thought he was the source. Backup will be arriving in approximately one hour. How long do I have? Three minutes. My car's outside. I know where Daniels is. Let's go. No time to waste. Escucho tiros y tiros gritando. Parecen americanos. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Two subjects seen exiting safe house. Uh... But here come the police. Yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Issue a standing kill order on Jason Bourne effective immediately. He just gets like butt hurt and he's like, kill him. Oh yeah. What's Operation Blackbriar? Christ's sake, Pam, we're in the middle of an operation. Bullshit. Yeah, I think it's kind of important. Right? You need to know what he's after? We are the sharp end of the stick now, Pam. Lethal action? If we have to. No more getting the bad guys caught on our sights than watching them escape. Special and dangerous. Names, 
dates, ghost sites, who's cooperating with us abroad, every operation. Damn. You want that stuff in Bourne's hands out on the market to the highest bidder? When we find Daniels, we get Bourne too. There's more secret programs. You really don't remember anything? No. Wait a minute. No, Bosun. <laughs> Top secret of <laughs> everything. It's Pam Landy. She says it's urgent. Tell her I'm unavailable. Not good. His location's being blocked. No, they found Daniels. Yep. They'll get one of the operatives to terminate him. You're gonna meet him, and you have a new phone for him. He'll take us right to Daniels. Helps to have Nikki on the inside now. Yeah. Is that a bomb? It might be. Asset on schedule, stop. What's going on? Gonna be taking that. <laughs> yeah, oops. <laughs> Instructions were sent to the asset at 1411 local time. It came from a computer belonging to Nikki Parson. Damn. I was gonna say, she's logging in with her own login. You start down this path, where does it end? It ends when we've won. He's just so kill happy. At least she's in there. Like, she's getting all of it. When we're finished with Daniels, send the asset after them. It's like I, I just met her. Monsieur Daniels, vos fonds sont disponibles. I feel like he should be a little more cautious than this. Right, he is a CIA operative. Why are you stopping so far back when you know that he knows... He has to know he saw him, right? Jason Bourne? Yeah. Stop! Oh, that's the bomb? That was the bomb. Bye, Daniels. Is Bourne okay? He was like right there. Because oh. he's like next, but that is a crowd of people. And he might think he got him too. Great. I know, super suspicious now. Just in time. Just goes around them. <laughs> yeah, Nikki, you need to go anywhere else. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah. I think he needs like a hat or something. Not at the table, sees the trail. <laughs> Forgot about the cops. <laughs> Just make it more complicated. So what is that? Oh, something flammable. <laughs> Thank you for the gun. All right. I feel like I don't like that she like maneuvered off the main. Out of like the crowd. Yeah. You going zip lining? Oh. For the glass. For birds? I don't know, or just like their fence. Girl, these are all locked, <laughs> keep moving. Oh, wow. Found one. Just a little stop in the chase. Ah! Ah, ah, ah! Uh! And it's on again. <laughs> so cool. Doors away. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
Hi, Nikki. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, he's just so much bigger than him. Oh. Brutal. It's like a cookbook. Oh. Oh, shit. The noises. <laughs> Damn. It was brutal. I think that's one of the best chase scenes capped off with one of the best fight scenes I've ever seen. Just like silence. The whole thing. And that chase with Nikki and the cops and him, that's like 10 minutes. Sir, asset confirms both targets are down. You did it. I can't afford to have this come back to me. Don't worry, you're protected. If Blackbriar goes south, we'll roll it up and hang it around her neck. You piece of shit. Yeah, just using her as a pawn, a little scapegoat. I wonder if they'll get in touch with her. Uh, Born and Nikki? Yeah. I can see the faces. Everyone I ever kill. I just don't know their names. I mean, he's wanted to be done with this since like halfway through the first movie. You're gonna have to run now. Damn, she did all that and it was just like, bye. <laughs> Sorry, your life is now filled with running. You have some parallels between Nikki and Marie. Yeah. Conversation at the dining and now with the hair, but it's not the same. No. I mean, it probably feels kind of the same to Bourne because it's another person whose life is now completely changed for helping him. I feel like he doesn't want to make the same mistake again by staying with her. Just a life of always looking behind you. Right. Every single person looks kind of suspicious. All burnt up, but I got an address. Him. You need to see this. The only person that she has on her side. <laughs> yeah. It's an early Treadstone identity registered to Jason Bourne, but he never used it and it never went to the grid. Bourne's alive. Two different reactions to find out Bourne's still alive. Maybe Bourne wants us to know. Maybe he's trying to communicate with you. I think I know what Bourne's looking for. Yeah, she has all the answers now. <laughs> Such a good little message. What is it? Some secret. That said, Br Briar. Black Briar? Yeah. David Webb. That's your real name. You were born 4 1571. Get some rest, man. You look tired. Send a flash message to Langley. Prep for local backup assistance. Does she know they were tracing that call? Who was it? Like, are they putting it out on her? Or is it just always born? I feel like I need to know if she knew they were listening, because this is gonna take a whole different meaning. It's a bad place to meet, it's too exposed. He wouldn't have chosen it if he didn't have a reason. Okay, so he's trapping them. Where's she going? Three, stand in by. Okay, folks, here we go. Box 200 meters. So anxious. <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. I can't say. So he is not going to tutor. Nope. But he's sending her to tutor. Okay, here we go. Copy that. I see her. Wonder if he just sent her there to see if she was followed and then was going to give separate instructions, but. Where are you now? Tutor. I'm sitting in my office. If you were in your office right now, we'd be having this conversation face to face. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wilson. Just totally got him. I want everyone back in the vehicles. There's a code 10 aboard. Pack it up and get out of there. Man, they took the whole office yep. between those two locations. Oh, damn. What's going on? Oh. Wow. It's all gone. He got the motion safe. Where to? 
415 East 71st Street. Jesus, Pam. Oh, so that's why I was showing the locations. I just thought he was like remembering things. Their perimeter. All agents have shoot on site authorization. They're in the middle of New York. Gotta hurry up. Oh. I was not anticipating <laughs> that. Oh. Oh shit! Quick way down. Uh, sir, he drove off the roof. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you for the car. I assume this one's bulletproof. Eh. <laughs> it's not a Bourne movie without a car chase. Bourne's birthday, sir. What about Check it? Check that out, sir. Not the date. His birthday was 4-15-71. Oh my God, it's a code. Plug me as variables of longitude and latitude. You get Cameroon. Nope. <laughs> Yes, go there. What date did she give him? 4-15-71. SRD is at 4-15 East 71st. SRD? Just gave him the training facility. Oh, Christ. Oh. All the teams in behind us. Where it all started. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's rear-ended. <laughs> oh. So many cars into cars. So much destruction. Jeez. Don't need your trunk. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> what a crash. <laughs> wow. That crash was super close to the crash in the last movie. The asset lost Bourne, we lost. Yeah, chaos in downtown New York. Bourne knows everything. He's on his way to you right now. I'll keep him in play till you get there. I think he's severely underestimating him. Where's Landy? Everything you need is in there. Damn. Straight to CNN. <laughs> It'll be better if we do this together. No. This is where it started for me. This is where it ends. Call him David, too, instead of Jason. Hello, this is Pamela Landy. I have to send a classified document. <laughs> no elevators for you guys. First floor. I'll take Landy on my own. Sending it all out. Last page. You better get yourself a good lawyer. <laughs> Why did you pick me? You really don't remember, do you? I think we've established that. <laughs> we didn't pick you, you picked us. You volunteered. Why is nothing coming back when he said that? There you go. Captain Webb. <laughs> Said you'd do anything it takes to save American lives. You're not a liar, are you? So much manipulation. From now on, you'll be known as Jason Bourne. To know who that guy was, to know what he did. So now you're gonna kill me. You don't deserve the star they give you on the wall at Langley. Oof. I was gonna say, they were in there for a really long time. Yeah, everyone caught up. Is this the guy from the car? Yep. Expecting you to return the favor. Why didn't you take the shot? Do you even know why you're supposed to kill me? Look at us. Look at what they make you give. 
Just like Clive Owen. Oh, he returned the favor, but the other guy didn't. Did he even shoot him, though? He didn't fall very well. I didn't see the, like, trail of a different color. Two agency officials have already been arrested. Dr. Albert Hirsch, the alleged mastermind, Noah Bozen, the program's operational chief. Got him. Webb's body has yet to be found. Such a good little smirk at the end. All right, that was the Born Ultimatum. What'd you think? That was incredible. I feel like there was just so much more mystery to this one, which led to like a ton of really cool reveals. We had a ton of characters. I think personally that skinny old man that was like at the top, I feel like he was one of the best villains of the three, if not the best. Right. Obviously super cool to see Julia Stiles back, uh, Landy back. So it's just, I feel like a very satisfying closure to the trilogy. Yeah, like I said, I think this one is my favorite. I think the intensity, the fighting, the car chases, the on foot chases, it's all incredible, but the story is also very intriguing. Again, yeah. it's like this new mystery of, he still doesn't really know everything and he's really trying to kind of put it back together. And I like the reveal, which I think maybe there was just too much going on at the time, but like, Essentially, this movie picks up, I don't know, 30 minutes prior to the ending of the second one. Yeah, I... So, because in the second one, you know, he meets that girl in Moscow, and then he's still kind of on the run. Yeah. But then it cuts to him just being in the United States, and that's when he has that conversation at the end of the movie. He'd be like, Pamela, get some rest, you look tired. The music kicks in, and you see him walking out of the building and yeah. stuff. Yeah. And then this movie picks up back in Russia with him on the run, which is him essentially right after the meeting with the Russian girl that he apologizes to. Right, so essentially this movie is inserted into before the last five minutes of the last movie. Pretty much, yeah. And then it all connects again once he says that like line, once they have that conversation right. between, you know, Pamela and uh, Jason Bourne. Right. So I think going with like the other movies where every ending does feel like a legitimate ending. Yeah. Um, so the ending for the second one, it's like, oh cool, he's back in New York. He knows what his name is. You hear his birthday and stuff. It feels all good and stuff. But this trick, I guess, if you want to call it that, of being like, yeah, he's back home, but how did he get here? Let's show you all of that yeah. intensity. And then why is he there? Like that birthday, it wasn't, oh, like that's Pam giving him some cool knowledge. No, it's actually a code that continues the story. Right. And then the end of this is absolutely not like tied up in a bow end. Right. I mean, everyone's going to prison and stuff. All the information's out there, but he's still like missing and out there. Yeah. And who knows, you know, there might be another person out there who's like, born knows too much, we gotta take him out. Right, so obviously I know that there's, I think two more films, one of which we don't have Jason Bourne and then one that we do. Right. So there is more to the story, but as like a trilogy, this was really, really good. And I haven't seen those two, so I've only seen this trilogy and for me, it just ends on such a great note. Yeah. I mean, with that little smirk of Julia Stiles and then that music kicks in. I mean, that song is so iconic for Jason Bourne, mm -hmm. but him just swimming away, it's just a perfect ending for me. Mm -hmm. So I would be interested in the other two, but for me, this trilogy is amazing. I just, I really enjoyed this so much. I think that everything that we're slowly learning throughout the films, like it goes together so well and like all the little pieces that we're learning. And I love that we're really getting it from Jason Bourne's perspective. So we're getting this information as he's getting this information. Obviously there's times where they're giving us this information and I'm not putting it together I mean, until a little bit later. A lot of it comes so fast. And I think this movie does things a little differently with having other characters also not knowing what the fuck is going on. Yeah. So it's like no one really knows what's happening. That's really heavy on the first one. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, it's definitely a hard movie to really focus on everything. And I think if you watch it again, you would definitely pick up on a lot more cues and situations of being like, oh, like this person's tricking that one. You know, like even with like the drop of the bomb where with the backpack, with the backpack and stuff, you can kind of see like the wheels turning a little bit earlier yeah. once you watch it again. Yeah, I like the, like the elements of surprise watching it for the first time, but I feel like this could be like a Sunday afternoon thing where you just watch literally all three of them back to back. Oh yeah. 
and you pick up so many more things and realize how much more clever it is, even though from my perspective of just seeing these once for the first time, it feels so clever. It's crazy how clever the movie is while still having so much action in yeah. it. Because the action itself is incredibly clever. Yeah. I mean, you had like the first kind of chase scene inside the uh, train station or something mm -hmm. where he's like, you know, giving cues to the reporter for sight lines for the cameras and stuff. I honestly forget that that's even this movie. Right. <laughs> it feels so long ago. <laughs> but yeah, that was really intense. Ross was not prepared for that. And ultimately it's what ended up getting him killed was just him kind of jumping the gun. He made that error in thinking that the janitor, I think he said, was oh, right. like in on it and stuff. So he got out of the like little line that they had, the- Blind spot. Blind spot, yeah. And then him jumping the gun to getting outside and Jason tried. Yeah, I mean, he was definitely in over his head yeah. with the story that he was diving into. Yeah. But it's just such a clever sequence because like not even the CIA knew that Jason was there. You no, know, they're like, you know, how's he getting this information? How's he losing us? That whole reveal of like Jason beating up the guys and then it shows the camera and then it cuts to them in the room and they're like, Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. That's <laughs> memed all the time. <laughs> Yeah, because he somehow managed to be evading everything and everyone, too. Like, nobody was looking for him. Yeah. And then that stupid guy at the top thinking, like, oh, he's the... Source. The source. I'm like, come on, people. You know he can't even remember who he is, <laughs> like, anything. And... Suddenly, but he he's has... definitely the source. Yeah, suddenly he remembers everything. Yeah. I think watching these movies so close together, I definitely picked up on stuff that I didn't really notice before. A lot of parallels to the previous films with Nikki, I mean, a similar location with like a diner kind of first addressing the issue and then in like a random hotel room with her dying her hair, diner hair cutting yeah. it short. You picked up on how, you know, Jason plays that differently. Mm -hmm. um, you know, even she grabs his hand and stuff and clearly there was a history there before all of this. Right, which we didn't really get into, but she just was like, oh, you don't remember. Yeah, but for Jason, it's like, I've already been down this road of, you know, falling for someone. Yeah. I'm just gonna get you killed if I'm next to you. Especially after the conversation with Marie's brother. Yeah. He plays it differently, but it definitely mirrors what happened before. Even with like the car chase at the end with the asset, and it's like Jason who's in that vulnerable position about mm -hmm. to get smashed on like a T-bone. Right. But he kind of rolls up uh, the asset, very similar situation to what Carl Urban was in mm -hmm. with like his head on the steering wheel. Jason kind of comes up and stuff with the gun, but this time he doesn't. Well, he didn't last time, but that guy just died anyways. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but this one, like he was alive and he doesn't kill him. Another point that I notice is Jason directly quotes Clive Owen, who was the asset in the first one, when they're in the field, and yeah. he's like, look at us, look what they make us give, or something like that. Yeah, and like, do you even know yeah, do we, why we're doing this? Right, it's like an like a genuine sweet moment between two killers who they're like, what are we doing? Yeah. This is our life? So it, it's crazy watching it so close together just to see like, wow, this one really does a lot to tie in with everything that happened before. Yeah, and I think that's why it is so clever. Like, it's such a good trilogy because they aren't just taking Jason Bourne and Jason Bourne against this person, against this person, against this person. Like it's not just the same character and then putting him in different scenarios. Like these really are intricately tied together. Yeah, you're seeing one whole story yeah. with a bunch of little stuff happening in between, Yeah, but it really does feel connected. Right. I just wanna talk a little bit about the chase scene in Morocco. Yeah. Before we started this reaction, I mentioned that I have like a very favorite scene and it's that sequence yeah it's just so stressful and clever because it starts with Jason getting tricked essentially mm -hmm. and it's crazy I mean I said that it was like the music or lack thereof like the silence yeah and it's funny because a lot of this movie it builds suspense based on the music in all three of the trilogies like we're we're getting this like crazy music that just makes you stressed and stressed and worried about what's to come and there was nothing it was just the sound of the city, just the three of them. And that's 
really all that we were focused on. That whole sequence, because I mean, not only is Nikki running from the asset, Bourne's chasing the asset, but then he has to also evade the police. Yeah. They're all kind of in this just maze of a place. Yeah. And when it all combines and how it's silent and he smashes through the window and it's just this crazy action sequence. I saw this one in the theater and I remember when he like, he hits him with the book and then he like punches the book and then punches the book again and then punches him without the book. That was so loud. Like I remember like as a teenager, young teenager or something in the theater and it just like every punch just like shook my soul. And I was like, that was such an awesome fight scene. Yeah. So yeah, I had a great time revisiting this. I definitely experienced it in a different way and I'm super glad I was able to share it with you. Yeah, no, I'm really glad that we were able to watch this trilogy. I don't know if I could pick one. I would maybe say this one is maybe my favorite, but they were all so good. I don't know if I could pick a favorite, but they were all fantastic and just the way they tied everything in and everything. I would be very curious to see the next two, even if we don't watch them on the channel, more out of curiosity than anything, but it feels perfect with just the three. Right, yeah. So it's like almost if we watch it off the channel and it, it does it tie into this. Yeah. It's like we're, we are separating it as something different. Yeah. But no, this was excellent. I had a great time and I'm glad you enjoyed it so much. Yeah. Thanks to the patrons for getting us on this adventure yeah. with Jason Bourne and voting for the first film. This was fantastic. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you would like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.